Well, one week from tonight, WCCO will be broadcasting the biggest sporting event in the U.S. And two years from now, that event is going to unfold in downtown Minneapolis live. The Super Bowl is supposed to bring $400 million to the area. And as I found out, this year's Super Bowl shows us financial opportunities for many are going to be plentiful. The season will change eight times before that one day comes. So already the landscape is changing. The new stadium, the beautiful downtown view. Agent Luke Kleckner showed us this Mill City condo with a lot to look at. Right now in a condo that rents for $7,000 a month, it's quite possible something like this might rent for over $7,000 a night for the Super Bowl. After all, look what people are renting their places out for in San Francisco this week. $3,000 a night for this one. In this four bedroom, going for 13,000 a night. Kleckner says several clients have bought in this building in Minneapolis just for the big game rental opportunities. He's even considering renting his own downtown unit. The option of a huge payday is, you know, appealing. But there will be other ways to get game time pay. And we have actual things needed like caterers and event planners and um, who has the stanchion business. Maureen Bosch and 49 others will be in San Francisco this week, taking away ideas to make Minneapolis's big game best. They're meeting with rideshare execs at Lyft, who along with Uber will need lots of drivers. As well as the taxis and the limo services and the bus companies. Um, we're not sure there are enough buses and limos in the area. Whether loaning someone a ride or a porch, 60 minutes of football is bringing in countless opportunities. Now, if you want to get in on this, the local Super Bowl committee has a program that is working to get local small businesses connected with the NFL for the big game. We've got a link to that on WCCO.com. A reminder, you can watch Super Bowl 50 with the Carolina Panthers versus the Denver Broncos next Sunday right here on WCCO TV.